Are we on? I'm on. Cool. All right. Hey, fairy friends. Make sure there's no lipstick on my teeth. Just out and about at the park again with my little guy. Um, this is a different park though, so uh, it's not so squeaky. The swings aren't so squeaky. So, all right. I'm not gonna take any reversals, because I wanna make this quick. So, all right, spirit concurs, that's good. Creativity. Rebirth. Duty. Ah, I pulled on this in the, um, oh, this is called death. I pulled on this in the Leo reading. This could be an extension of that energy. You are, are going to, you, you may be in a creative slump right now, okay, my friend? Um, you are about to have a rebirth of creative energy um, because you have a duty to create something, right? Like, um, in the best possible sense, this is not your choice. You were put on earth and the Leo reading, it was a writer, but um, this could be painting. I'm picking up artistry with that right there. Yeah, if you've been feeling in a slump right now, don't worry. That's going to pass. You're going to get a, 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 fresh, um, a fresh perspective on your art because you are literally put on earth to create whatever it is that you do. Yeah, so the, the scales are going to be balanced um, in your favor because I feel like you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. You could be suffering from like depression or whatever, you know. It's just something that has been limiting your um, enthusiasm, your lack of enthusiasm. So um, this could also be a projection that was put on you. Okay, yeah, you could be a single parent too. That could be stressing you out, uh, making it hard for you to embrace your creativity because you know, you, you, you got kids. Like, when are you gonna find time to create, you know? So, uh, Spirit wants you to know that um, they are gonna come through and help you. Boom! <laughs> they are gonna come through and um, help you to, uh, to rediscover Whatever passion it was that you once had, right? Like I said, I was picking up a painter, but not necessarily with the check out the Leo reading too. With Leo reading, it was a very much about writing. Alright. But um, you know, we're talking about destiny here, are we not? So in the best possible sense, like I said, it's it's not really your choice. You were put on earth to create. Um whatever it is that you do so let's pull some more tarot yeah if you've been feeling stressed you know from this maybe like I said maybe you're a single parent or you're a stay-at-home parent and it's just it's so hard to muster up the uh, ambition the motivation the energy hmm the moon something you don't something's being kept from you something's being hidden from you too about this I'm gonna We'll see. You know how I feel about people playing around in other people's energy. I don't like it at all. Even if it's so much as just like a thought of like, oh man, I wish they wouldn't do this or that. Like to me, that counts. Yeah. You could be suffering from imposter syndrome or people, you could have somebody in your corner who isn't really in your corner. Six of swords. Yeah. Somebody could want to see you pinned down, so to speak. Um, we're getting swords after swords after swords. So this is all about mental energy. Yeah, again, the moon. Yeah, somebody is not as supportive as they want you to think. Also, yeah, you're going to blow the, the, the roof off whatever, like, like mental prison that you may find yourself in right now, okay? Because somebody could actually be leeching off of your mental energy with the intention of stealing your ideas and making your ideas their own and we all know how I feel about that <laughs> so give me a second I gotta give my kid an underdog cool okay and I'm back so let's see if we can pull a little more pothole on who exactly might be playing around in your energy um, somebody you might need to cut off or somebody you might need to just block out it just could be something as simple as just blocking them out like you've got to um, 
recognize naysayers by their energy sometimes, okay? You gotta recognize haters by their energy because they're not just gonna tell you, they're not just gonna openly put you down, especially if they know that you wouldn't tolerate that, right? Like few of us would tolerate having somebody in our energy who, and, I'm, and if you do have this person in your energy, it's okay, you know? We all go through n nasty bullshit. Um, but Queen of Cups and Two of Wands is what I opened on. So yeah, you could you could just be stressed because you you are raising children on your own. Uh, where was I at? Queen of Coins. Yeah, see, you also work really really hard too. So it's difficult to find the time. But uh, very few of us would actually keep um, like a legitimate naysayer in our energy, right? Like if somebody was actively telling us you can't do it, that's not very good, blah, blah, blah. Um, a lot of times we would eventually, sooner than later, get this person out of our energy. So people have to find covert ways to put you down, right? And they do it psychically and they do it emotionally and they do it energetically, okay? Well, hopefully you figure out who this person is and I'll be back with another reading.